Okay, good morning, everyone. It is time for another edition of Fuller's Five Questions. Uh, I try to answer the five most asked questions from the day before with sound effects. Well, you notice there was no intro music today. Um, no intro music today because yesterday I literally made videos for AP Psych, Psychology, and World History. And all of them got banned because I played like, I don't know what, 40 seconds of the song Rasputin. And I spent uh, probably like three hours trying to get that unblocked from YouTube. Maybe not quite three, but almost three. And so I decided today to go without the music so I don't infringe on any copyright. But that's why, if you listen carefully, you can hear the birds. I'm outside today. So instead of doing sound effects, we got the birds out here this morning. It is a beautiful day outside. I hope you guys uh, are able to get out and enjoy it in the best way possible. Socially distanced, of course. So let's talk about AP psychology. What is due this week? Okay. All right. Uh, what's due this week? We got the two quizzes. I put those out on Tuesday, and then you got two FRQs. Put those out yesterday. The FRQs are in your in Socrative, um, in the room name. So either if you're in fourth hours in four fuller, if you're in seventh hours in seven fuller, you put put in your last name as the student ID. You answer those questions. Okay. Um, can we use resources for our FQs? Well, first of all, I can tell when I read them that a number you are. So, <clears throat> um, that's totally fine. I it it really doesn't um have any impact on on the type of grade you're going to get on it for this class. My hope would be that you do as much of the FRQ without using any resources as possible. And then if you need to look something up, then you go ahead and do that. Um the the FRQs right now have just matched up with the units. I'm going to start making them multiple unit FRQs. So you might see terms from units one, two, and let's say one, two, and five or something like that. So it's going to get, they're going to get progressively a little bit more like you'll actually see on the AP exam. Um, but you can use resources because you will be able to use resources on the actual test. Remember, that doesn't make it easier. So your best bet is to still know your stuff. And I think the best way to do that is to review with the Quizlet, watch the videos, do the quizzes. And then when you answer the FRQ questions, do them without any resources before you use a resource. Okay, but you can. And I can tell some of you are. <laughs> and some of you are like, hey, I've... Maybe know where this question is coming from. So um, that's good to go. Is there more information on the AP exam? Yeah, that's continuously coming out. Um, I, I am going to put a link or I did put a link on this classroom page uh, entry for a video that you can watch about it. It goes through the test taking process. Um, you know, and I, <clears throat> I know that, I don't know, maybe some classes have posted more than others and, and I don't know where mine fits in with how much information your teachers are giving you. I'm trying not to give you too much information now because, you know, that information is going to be beneficial as we get close to the test. But I am sharing a link here today. It's like a five minute video to watch about uh, just how that procedure is going to go. So uh, there's going to be more coming out, but there is some stuff today that you can use. Uh, number four, why don't you comb your hair? Well, first of all, sometimes I do comb my hair. Um, and I'm wearing a hood today. It's a little chilly, but you know, I mean, today it was probably not a day that I combed my hair. And um, well, see, the, the real reason is I try to do these videos in the morning before my kids get up, and then um, I want to work out. So I'm doing these before the workout. So there's really not a whole lot of benefit in um, combing my hair before doing my daily workout. So I appreciate the the concern. Um, but that's, that's the answer I got. Okay. And finally, are we meeting today? The answer to that question is, are we meeting today? The answer is no. Um, yesterday I was kind of slammed with meetings, so I didn't get all the, the grades entered that I had wanted to. Um, <clears throat> and today again, I actually have quite a few meetings. So, um, today I'm going to say no to that question. We will not meet. However, you have a dying question. Okay. You got something that you need answers and email or remind message doesn't satisfy that. 
feel free. You can reach out and just say, hey, Mr. Fuller, can we meet? I will gladly meet with anybody. It doesn't have to be just during the school hours. We'll find time. You can meet me at like 8 p.m. In fact, actually, I was thinking of doing maybe instead of doing Google Meets from 10 to 1130 in the morning, maybe next week we try 10 to 1130 at night. Maybe I'll get more people there. Let me know what you think of that idea. Send me a message. Send me an email. 10, 30, 10 to 1130 at night would more people show up. Um, so maybe we'll do that. Um, and for today though, we're not going to have a formal meeting. However, if you have a specific question, feel free to reach out at any time and, and we can figure out time to meet. Okay. As for tomorrow, I'll probably post a video, but tomorrow and Monday, you probably already heard are actually days off for students. So there will be no new work posted tomorrow or uh, Monday. However, I may post just a short video message. Also, I'm going to put on the Cougar Connect link here. I did get a couple requests for that. Um, so I'll put those links on today's Google Classroom page as well. Okay. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying healthy, staying active, staying happy, and getting enough sleep. And remember, charge your Chromebooks. Thanks for tuning in.